everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since we've been in my bedroom but I just wanted to be really comfy today with one of my favorite blankets and just tell you about something that has happened to me. I'm very honest on this channel about my mental health and things that stress me out and I've been going through some medical things recently that have been really stressing me out and I've been getting a lot of questions and so like always I want to make a video for everyone to watch so that I just don't have to answer singular emails and like copy paste all the time. Here we are, grab your favorite blanket and let's get down to this. So basically, who? how long ago? was this. I was, it was a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting at my computer and this actually happened before I went to Hobie. So if you not know what Hobie is, please, I linked the last video down below, go check that out. Anyway, it's a leadership seminar camp that I attended. And so this happened before I was at Hobie and I was sitting at my computer and I was typing an email to my future Hobie kids and I fainted. I fainted hardcore and by like hardcore I mean I was sitting at a table next thing I know I wake up on the floor getting licked by a dog so thank you to um, my brother's dog for waking me up and making sure that I was okay but it seemed like I was out for about five minutes give or take I am so thankful my nephew was taking a nap his daily nap at this point because if I had fallen or fainted when he was up and about or I was holding him. I absolutely terrible. I would have felt so bad. I still feel really bad. Anyway, I texted my sister-in-law who works here in the town that we live at and I told her what happened and she immediately was like, I am coming home and we're going to the ER because you need to get some tests run. And so I went to the ER and everything came back okay. Like my EKG, which studies your heart. I had a CT scan to make sure nothing was wrong with my brain. Everything was completely fine. I went in to my follow-up appointment with my GP or general practitioner. Basically what they said was that you're gonna have to do a couple more tests. We are going to have you check your blood sugar. Now, diabetes does run in my family. I've explained that before. I have hypoglycemic tendencies, but the thing is with yesterday, I was eating like constantly throughout the day. Everyone's like, oh, you might've been dehydrated. And I'm like, no, because literally I, I like in my zero waste video, I have this wonderful water bottle and I have, I had two of them by the time that I had fainted. So I was plenty hydrated. I was peeing a lot. Yeah, they're like, we're gonna make you sure you test your blood sugar. Uh, I have a thing on referral to wear a portable heart monitor where literally I will be hooked up to like a battery pack, Bluetooth something or other for 24 hours. I'm still waiting for that to, to go through. If that comes back inconclusive, I might have to wear one for two weeks. Who, who knows? Who knows what's going on? Also, in that time, they listen to my lungs and realize that I have asthma. Mm -hmm. I have asthma. So I want to introduce you guys to a couple of my new friends. So like I said, I have asthma. So now I'm on an inhaler and I have this, it's called an aero chamber and it's really cool. It helps actually get a majority of the medicine. It helps stabilize. It's an anti-static valve holding chamber. So basically you stick it in there and you press, you let it sit and you breathe in and a valve pops up here. And I take that as basically as a, like a rescue kind of thing. Once um, every night and then on the occasion I, I have an attack or something, which again, when I've talked about these medical issues, I always thought it was what I thought was normal. And it wasn't until someone pointed out to me that no, that isn't normal that I'm like, oh, oh, so these coughing fits I'm having are not something I should be having. This is not how normal people or what is considered healthily normal. The second one, is my glucometer. My, one of my very, very good friends, 
did a wonderful job and she decorated it for me. I, backstory behind this, I was super scared about using this, what that might mean for my future. And so I immediately decided to name my kit. And so my kit's name is Barbara and giving it a name made it a little less scary for me. Good health tip, if you have something that scares you, naming it, it helps. I, you know, inhalers are inhalers. They don't need a name, like, but I was scared. So I named it Barbara. And so my friend drew this lovely thing. It says Babs, but it kind of looks like boobs, Babs, boobs. And so it's got a bra and like underwear, but it, and it's in glow in the dark puffy paint. And so I can find it at night if I ever have issues at night. So basically I tested very, like I had an initial testing period where it was before and after every meal when I first woke up before I went to bed and then when I would typically have an afternoon snack and it didn't necessarily point to the signs of like diabetes but it definitely pointed to the signs of hypoglycemia or uh, bouts of low blood sugar basically and so this is now a permanent thing um, whenever I feel like super low they want me to test go from there and of course basically the treatment plan for that is uh, just a sec. <laughs> the treatment plan for that is a diet change. Diet and exercise. Basically, I don't have anything else. So less carbs. Carbs are fast sugar. And more protein. Protein is a good sugar that lasts for a long time. So less sweets for me. Less sandwiches. If I do breads, they have to be whole grain breads. Like, with more nuts and more seeds in them, more water, which is this whole diet thing is a little off on me because I can't have red meat. It makes me really, really sick. And so having this more protein is, I'm almost kind of having to do like a vegetarian protein diet. So we'll see how that goes. And if you guys, I know you guys are super curious about what this looks like. So this is, this is Barbara. This is Barbara, it is a true, metrics glucometer i feel for like if i hadn't have insurance this i can't imagine the people who have diabetes and have to go to canada have to go to a freaking another country to get supplies is absolutely insane i am so glad i have insurance because if not this was going to be a very couple hundred dollars and that's a couple hundred dollars that i don't have so it awesome you can turn it on and it gives you like month averages and day averages and stuff and as you can see they're on a little bit higher because i've been of course taking really good care of myself but it has a little docking mount that you can connect it and upload your results to your computer i have a thing of uh for true metrics test strips and I don't want to ruin any of them because once you put them in and they register, you can't really reuse them again. But that's what they look like. So, ah! I just dropped one. So basically, I'm so good. I have a, a refill at the pharmacy I need to go get. So basically, there's like a computer chip that reads it and a little port that takes the sugar, the blood in it. Uh, I prick my finger, basically, and... Uh, you put the test strip in here and this is a, a true draw which is an auto loader for your lancets which I'm not gonna take one off but they look like this they look like that and this little thing pops off and there's a little needle underneath there and this thing pops off you load it and it goes pew, and it shoots up really fast the cool thing about this is that I have it at a two, but you can change how close the needle pricks your skin. Um, two works best for me. It just it changes the height and how much of the needle actually goes into your skin to get the draw of your blood. But yep, this launches the needle into my skin. I test on my middle fingers. I feel like that it doesn't hurt as much. I usually get the best results. From that and of course you know it has the pocket for your alcohol swabs because you have to clean your hands off they say wash your hands but I'd rather get an actual 
proper true reading. So that's that's my my new bits is you know an inhaler and Barbara. It definitely is scary. I am definitely mentally stressed. So stressed out. It it's hard. It's hard. So if you have these, do you do you have hypoglycemic tendencies? Do you have to test? Do you did you name your glucometer? Honestly, in the in the grand scheme of things, fainting is not fun. But the fact that it was just some blood sugar, and potentially, most likely, we still have, you know, that heart monitor well to wear, but that it could be just potentially blood sugar issues and it's a diet change and moder monitoring myself. I'm very lucky. I consider myself very, very lucky. Anyway, thank you for letting me share this. I know everyone had a lot of questions and I wanted to answer them here. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. As always, I do try to comment and uh, answer all the questions sent to me. Please leave a like, a comment, a share, and, and subscribe if you want to be on this journey with me. Everything is a little, everything is just a little scary right now. And I love the support, the community support and all the messages. I'm very thankful for the community that I have here on YouTube and on my Instagram, which is linked down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, sláinte.